So last time we've seen how to configure NBGrader to use the Nextcloud Exchange folder. We did it for the ADSP, but the procedure is the same for all the seminars. So in case of the audio coding, for example, you create an audio coding working seminar folder. Here you will put the NBGrader config. Then you need to set the path if you're installed like Jimi Hendrix, the path will be always the same with this next cloud and each um, course ID. If you take it from the template, it should be already there. If not, you must remember that it needs to match, oh, for example, audio coding seminars. There is already something that we can see from here. We have a lot of these locked folders here. I will leave it for now. And we are going to come to this later because there will be an error when we try to submit our file. It can happen that sometimes instructor needs to re-release an assignment. But if you already fetched, like we did previously, then you cannot fetch it again. So maybe the instructor released the uh, seminar with a bug and he needs to re-release it. So the, the instructor re-release it, but you need to refetch it. So how you do it? Now we already fetched, so it's saying that there are no assignments to fetch. So you go to your working directory and you delete this. So now if you reload this page, let's go back here, it found the assignment to be fetched again. So if the instructor tells you, oh, I made a mistake, we need to, I need to release again. So you wait until the instructor release a new version. Then you go to your working folder. If you had over previously already fetched, and then you'll be able to fetch it a new version or fetch it again. So this is how we fetch. Just click here. Now we have this downloaded assignment. Let's work on this assignment. So the first assignment is very simple. We just need some information from you. And it's just to check if your system is working fine and it, you can submit assignments. There will be no complicated tasks. You just need to fill some information and then submit. And it's important that this assignment is graded. The configuration part is also evaluated. So you have some time to configure your system. Then you need to submit before the deadline. And then you get points for this configuration. So usually there will be in all seminars some instructions, sometimes even some video tutorials on what you need to do. Then you need to run the cells. After you finish, you save, and then you're ready to submit. So let's do it. So in December, you must configure the necessary tools that we're going to use. So if you were here already, it means that you was able to fetch. So you should have configured Ubuntu with Python, NBGrader, took the notebook, the Nextcloud folder. And now we're going to test if you installed some Python libraries in your environment. So we are going to run. So all the libraries are installed because we see here there is no error. If I would try to import another library that is maybe not installed, I get an error. And if you submit notebooks with error, you will lose points. So how to solve this? You could go and install pandas. There are many ways how to install pandas. Please don't install, don't put any commands to install things in your notebook. The way how NBGrader works is we are going to grade your seminar by running your notebook and see if you got the correct answers. But your notebook is going to be run in a different system, not on your system. We don't have access to your system. This is just Jimi Hendrix. Only he have access to the system. Only the things that he installed here will work. If you install 
some library that it's not uh, saying in the seminar and you use this library, probably it will not run if we don't have the same library installed. But we will get to this later on with other seminars. So now, for now, all the libraries are installed. If it's not installed, you can go and install it by yourself. So you could, for example, open a terminal, you activate your environment, then you could, for example, conda install from channel conda forge, and then you want to install, for example, pandas, and then Conda is collecting package metadata and then it will install. But I will not do this now. So let's go back to here. So now I'm going to fill this form. So the first name is Jimmy. The last name is Hendrix. Here we need Jimmy Hendrix the Wilmenau email. So don't use external emails like Gmail, don't do this, you must use the TU email email and we put here the matricle number which is, was the same that we configured on the config file. So let's run the cell, everything is fine. The last cell is just converting these variables putting it into a dictionary and saving it as a CSV file. And now we see that there is this CSV file with the data that we just put. So it's Jimi Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix the email with the matricle number. So this is ready and we could save it and submit the assignment. So we can go here and submit and now we have an error that I mentioned earlier so again I don't have permissions to the directory but this time it's this directory here so we gave permissions to Nextcloud but we didn't give permissions to all the subfolders so what we do we go back to our terminal so before we changed the permission of Nextcloud, but we didn't change the permissions for its subfolders. So in my case, I have a lot of files in the Nextcloud, and this will take years to change the permission recursively to all these subfolders. If you don't have so many folders, then you can do it recursively for all your next cloud, or you could just change the permissions for specific folders. And this is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to copy this. So I want to change the permissions for ADSP seminars and all its subfolders. So I open a new window and I'll do sudo all permissions recursively to the ADSP seminar folders and then it's done so now if I try to submit it's submitted so it's saying that submitted assignments have in mind that you can submit and then maybe you notice that you did something wrong and you want to correct your assignment and resubmit it, you can submit as many times as you want and there will be a time stamp to each submission and the NB grader will check only the latest submission. Now the instructor can collect your submission, he can grade it and sometimes he will generate a feedback and when the feedback is available it will be seen here feedback is available and then you can fetch feedback but sometimes there will be no ready-made feedback and the feedback will be discussed during our seminar meetings. So now you've seen how to, to fetch. If you need to refetch you just go and delete what you previously did like we showed here and then you also know how to submit.